Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Drown, the entire short story collection written by Juno Diaz. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, uh, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. So, in the Drown story collection, we get introduced to many different types of things. Um, Juno Diaz really builds uh, the story of, of this family over the course of several different types of short stories. Um, and he also builds um, kind of like a world between the Dominican Republic uh, and New York and New Jersey, or, or you could even say between two different types of cultures um, and what it, what it means to belong to to belong to two different types of cultures because the characters that appear within the the short story collection of Drown um, they're, they're not only Dominican or of Latin origin they're also um, uh, American and they have to exist and live uh, in the American way of life uh, so basically we're introduced to characters within this work we're introduced to, to Poppy uh, we're introduced to Junior or Ramon uh, Rafa uh, their mother, um, other family members here and there, uh, and pretty much the, the central thing that we see within uh, uh, Drown is basically we see this family uh, leaving the American Republic and coming to the United States and pretty much trying to uh, make an identity for themselves or adapt to the American way of life. Um, and also the damages it has in the way in which that they leave the Dominican Republic and come to the United States. Uh, so Junior is pretty much one of the narrators that we, we, we get the story from a lot uh, within this story collection. Uh, he, we see him um, as a child in, in the Dominican Republic, uh, the poverty that his family face, um, the poverty that his family face, the poverty uh, that they had to endure and go through. Um, and it was not easy. It was not easy for them. Uh, at the beginning of the Search Story collection, we see their mother uh, working in a chocolate factory. Uh, we see Junior and Ramon doing, you know, certain types of things to survive, to eat, uh, to have fun. Uh, we see not just their lives, but we see the lives of other people uh, within the Dominican Republic and what they have to go through uh, in terms of their their poverty, for instance. Uh, there's an individual by the name of Israel that we meet within the Drown Story collection. Um, and Israel, when he was a child, his face was, you know, chewed like a, a pig chewed his face. Uh, and, and he had to pretty much live the, the rest of his life uh, with this disability, with this deformity, uh, kids picked on him, uh, his community challenged his masculinity. Uh, the only individual that ever paid attention to Israel is Father Lou within the Drown Story Collection. Uh, and we see that his hopes and dreams, a lot of hopes and dreams that a lot of characters have within this work, uh, within this collection of works, not all of them come to pass, not all of them come true. Um, and, and not only just um, the the impact of poverty, the impact of uh, two different types of cultures mixing. We also see what um, immigrating from one country to another, what types of emotional and lasting impacts it can have on a family. Uh, we know that Poppy uh, leaves the Dominican Republic, comes to the United States, uh, he obtains citizenship, uh, then he goes back to the Dominican Republic and gets his family and then they come to the United States and then we see them um, Basically, we see them trying to adapt uh, to the American way of life, and it's it's never really um, it's never really a hundred percent you know comfortable um, or the way that you would want it uh, because of the fact that there's several different types of conflicts. We see Poppy being abusive, being aggressive towards the children. Uh, we see him cheating on his wife, cheating on his girlfriends, leaving one woman for another, um, and that has damages on the children. Uh, we see this type of, of masculinity being portrayed within Drown, where uh, a lot of different types of men, from Rafa to Poppy to even Junior at points, where they identify themselves or they see their self-worth 
uh, being tied with uh, their conquest of women. Um, a great example of this is uh, um, how to date a brown girl, black girl, white girl, or healthy, where Junior is basically telling us uh, what you need to do, pretty much giving us an instruction manual uh, on what you need to do to score or to sleep with with an individual from a different from different types of races, uh, and and pretty much he objectifies he objectifies women within that sh um, short story, um, and he pretty much changes himself and changes an identity and he'll mold himself to whatever he needs to mold himself into so that he can um, sleep with this type of woman from this type of race. Uh, so we do see this type of masculinity being portrayed in Drown. Um, we see even men getting attacked. Israel, for instance, um, he was bullied in, the, bullied in the Dominican Republic. Uh, we see him being chased down by by his bullies and even say that um, that they were going to turn him into a girl, uh, which is challenging his masculinity, um, which is, and that's also kind of like hinting towards rape because they were like holding him down and a bunch of boys were telling them, telling him that they're going to turn him into a woman. Uh, and, um, you know, it's just not pleasant. Um, so, uh, you know, Drown ends up in... A ha well, not really a happy place. You can see that um, Poppy, he has two kids by the name of Ramon because he gets married in the United States to a woman by the name of, of Nilda. Uh, and he's technically still married to his wife back in the American Republic. Uh, we see him have two families at once. Um, he has two sons by the name of Ramon. Uh, that has a damage on both families. Um, and the children pretty much grow up without ever having a father figure, which is, it's just not pleasant. It's not something you would want. Uh, and, and there's so much, so much damages emotionally uh, to the children, to the women that Poppy getting involved with. Um, and even him, I think he's dealing with some struggles on his own because um, jumping from woman to woman to woman um, never really satisfies him. And he, and at some certain points within the short story Negocios, he thinks that um, that that helping his originally family out from the Dominican Republic and, and um, getting them from the Dominican Republic and bringing them to the United States would make him happy, would give him this like golden ticket family, but it didn't because he ends up with another woman in Florida. Um, so Poppy's life seems it doesn't seem like it gets better. Um, I mean, financially it gets better, but emotionally, um, this search that he was on for a better life. Um, a better family, this ha ultimate happiness that he was searching for, at least to me, <clears throat> it doesn't seem like he ever finds it. Um, and, and there's several um, different um, scenarios that come up and several different characters that come up that are in circumstances just like Poppy, um, you know, is in within, within this um, short story collection. Um, you know, for me, the the one another central message I would say that I get from the Drown Story Collection um, is survival. Um, survival is a huge thing in this short story collection because you see that um, all these different types of individuals, um, we see a lot of them living in poor communities, doing whatever it takes to survive, doing whatever it takes to get by, um, and it's not always pleasant and we know that for a fact that um, some of the characters might not get their happy endings uh, the short story of Aurora that that um, comes um, comes up within this short story collection we can see that it doesn't really have a bright future um, there's no really bright future within those short stories I mean it comes to a conclusion uh, but the characters, we know that they're, some of them are in cycles, some of them are in patterns, some of them it doesn't seem like they're going to break their patterns. Um, there's a lot of, of patterns and cycles uh, of drug use, of selling drugs, of being in type of communities uh, where a bright future is just not guaranteed, um, or a bright future is not really even in, in any type of view. Uh, because these people uh, that are portrayed, these characters that we're given, uh, some of them will get out of their poverty. Some of them will find a, a brighter life for themselves. Uh, but it, none of it's guaranteed. 
And even the way that the short story, the, the way that Negocios ends, it ends with a fragmented, a, a, you know, different types of families that are created by one man that are all over the place. Um, and, and no one is truly completely 100% happy. Uh, I mean, Poppy, in some, in some point of view, you can say that he did right by all of his families because he somewhat helped them all out, but that can be debated because I don't, I don't, you know, he didn't really help Nilda out. He just pretty much used her for his own purposes. She was in many ways, uh, a means to an end. Um, and you know, this, each short story, I don't want to group them all into one. I just want to give you guys a central idea of what's going on and what these characters go through. Um, there's a lot of heartache. There's a lot of struggle. Um, masculinity is definitely an issue here. Uh, we see several relationships being broken up. Uh, it's either um, Dominican women leaving their... Dominican significant other for white individuals. Um, there's there's a hierarchy of what type of woman is better than the other. Um, we see black, white, Hispanic, um, Latin women and white women all being compared in the Drown Story collection. Uh, we see um, you know extreme poverty in terms of Poppy coming to the United States and literally sleeping with the cockroaches just to get by working 19 20 hour shifts a day um, We see him getting swindled. We see him uh, getting robbed uh, We see the kids doing the best that they can to survive in the, in the Dominican Republic um, We see them some of them develop these hard uh, exteriors um, such as Rafa. Rafa is is a person, a character that that appears within the draft story collection. From my point of view, is he's not going to have a bright future because he's so aggressive, he's so um, you know off the cuff that um, you can see that Junior probably has a more leveled head and that he might uh, survive to have a good family of his own and to to watch out for himself. Uh, but Rafa is very um, I guess the way I would say he's a guy with a big chest and usually those are the people that, that, you know, that fall first because the bigger chest you have, uh, the more space, well, from my perspective, the bigger chest you have, the more space you have to get hit. Um, and Rafa is always this, this guy that's like literally taking life by the, by the horns and he's going to do whatever it takes for him to, to, to maximize his own happiness. Um, so, you know, those are just some views on the Drown Story collection from, like, I guess you can say, since each short story has their own, um, central ideas going on, um, this is a su summary of the entire book of what you're going to see in it if you choose to read it. Um, there's several different ideas and, 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 and themes that, that can, you can see, uh, within this work. Um, but generally speaking, um, I think that drown gives us not a a, a a a story that just ends up in a happy place like you're you're um happily ever after drown is not that at all um i think it really gives us more of a taste in reality uh and what certain people have to do to survive uh and you know it, it makes you think of you know, because like sometimes we, we, we choose to just look down on people and just judge them by from our perspective, but we never really live their lives and and the things that they have to go through to 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 be successful. Um, so it, all of that kind of leaves us in a place where um, you see these characters, they're fighting to survive, but at the same time, they're dealing with a lot of emotional issues. That are not that are not always resolved, um, and I guess drowning. Well, at least from my perspective, going back to the title of this book, this short story collection, you know, when you're drowning, it's not something that you can take calmly. It's not something that um, it's not something that easy. You can fight or you know flail on the water to survive or to get a you know. A moment of, of air 
Um, Because we see these characters, you know, for some of them, poverty was uh, was drowning. For some of them, uh, the risky the the risks that they took in life, um, from my perspective, was um, you know certain things that they had to overcome. Um, And these characters, they're incredibly resilient. Um, They're they're crafty. they're literally trying the best that they can to just live a normal life. And that really doesn't come easy uh, within the world that we are presented uh, within this work. Um, so so basically, that's Drown. That's what I, what I witnessed. That's what I read. Um, those are the, the ideas that I came across. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know I, with everything I've just said, I think I just gave you guys a deeper meaning and analysis of of certain aspects of the book and, and what it's about uh, and, and the ultimate meaning of it. Um, it's really, I recommend it as a read. It's a really a good read. Um, you know, of course, read each story separately. Um, I mean, there, there is intersections between all of them um, and, and every story kind of like really builds this world for you, um, but it's not linear. It's not, you don't just read all of it through because um, we see Junior as a kid, we see Junior as an adult, uh, we see the characters from different areas, different sides in their lives, which makes the story complex. Because usually in a book, we get one narrator, we get one view, uh, it's usually uh, linear, but here, um, you know, we get, we're getting, sometimes we get a child narrator, sometimes we get an adult narrator, um, and, and, and especially from the child point of view, uh, sometimes we don't get the entire picture when we look um, at the story. Um, and even at the adult narrator, uh, when Junior is an adult and he's narrating for us, um, he's he's not um, he's not, not, not an omniscient narrator. So sometimes there's information that he gives us that you really have to think about it to to get uh, the, the the content that's under the surface. Um, so yeah, um, that's all I had to say about this book. Uh, Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video.